My name is Ashton Samuel, and I'm here to talk about my energy management capstone project I did through my EGV 2780 class. So just a little background information about Johnson Electric, who reached out for uh, to Sinclair to do this capstone project. They are uh, located at 801 Schools Drive in Vendelia, Ohio. They manufacture motion systems for various companies that per perform various tasks. And they reached out to Sinclair Community College for an energy audit through this capstone class. So let's talk about their objectives with reaching out for Sinclair for this class. Their main objective is a, a corporate-wide challenge called Going Green for the Greater Good. And this corporate-wide challenge is, it challenges every company to reduce their carbon emissions by 30% in 10 years for each piece produced through their manufacturing process. So how can we reduce carbon emissions? Through this project, uh, we took a look at two different methods to reduce carbon emissions. The first method, which will be tasks one through three, is conserving measures, saving energy on existing equipment and uh, parameters. And then the second method we looked at, which is task four, will be utilization of solar renewables or installing solar panels to produce electricity. So through Sinclair and Johnson Electric, we came up with four main tasks that will accomplish these two measures. The first one will be temperature data loggers that we installed throughout Johnson Electric to monitor their temperature throughout a week. The second one is will be an analyst of their energy bills. We just plug in their energy bills and see, see what it is. Task three will be comparing Johnson Electric to like buildings using Energy Star and the EUI score. And then task four will be solar, a solar panel estimate or solar system sizing estimate. So for task one, we installed these data loggers, which we have a picture here. We uh, in installed those throughout Johnson Electric at various spots to monitor, monitor temperature throughout the week. It takes temperatures in a 10 minute interval and we programmed it to start at 4 p.m. and stop at 4 p.m. a week after when we would pick it up. After we picked them up, we would pl plug them into our computer and through Hoboware, we would give it would spit out these graphs here. And our main objective with task one and these graphs are to flatten out in these, this line here in the target zone, the red dotted lines here, and to stop the cycling or the same thing from recurring over and over again for optimal energy usage with your HVAC equipment. With task two, we would take their energy bills throughout a year and plug into Excel and get a graph, which would spit out a UA value. UA is the is equal to the heat loss coefficient of a building, including infl infiltration. And it, it is the slope of the graph that we will see in the next slide. And we use this to calibrate our energy model with, with task two, if we would have time to finish that. This would be the graph that would be given and the slope right here, negative 6.2. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, but that would be our UA value. And this is the winter months. So the, these green ones, the white green ones are the winter months and the darker green ones are cooling months. So for heating months, we would use that since it's winter and it's a higher temperature difference. And that's why it's six and compared to one on the other. And that's what we'd be used to calibrate our energy model for task two, which we did not have time to do to give quali or quantitative assessments where energy would be saved. Task three will look at Johnson Electric's energy usage overall. And we use this to get an EUI, which is just total raw energy consumption it takes for a building divided by its square footage. And we would take this EUI number and compare it to like buildings or any other building in that case that you would like to compare your EUI score to. We get the EUI score from plugging in data such as what kind of building it is, what year it was built, and the square footage of the building. And it takes all that into factor, including the energy bills, and it gives you EUI score. In this one, we could see that they got a EUI of 152.8, but unfortunately there was no data on manufacturing or industrial plants, so we compared it to our urgent care. 
And it says that they would be roughly 5% higher than the median national median for urgent care. So there would be energy to be saved. For task four, we use two different websites or methods to calculate the solar system sizing they would need to go completely green. The first one, using just their energy bills, says that they would roughly need 16,250 watt panels requiring 6.7 acres of land to go completely green. The second method, using just normalized data from the, their address and where they're located, it's uh, the website's called PV Watts, and it would state that they need roughly 13,000 of those 250 watt panels to go completely green. Translating these savings to carbon dioxide emissions for their tasks, what we use the national average of 0.92 pounds of CO2 produced per kilowatt hour produced. And since they their annual bills, they use roughly 4.3 million kilowatt hours a year. This translated to almost 4 million pounds of CO2 produced a year. And if they could offset 25% of that, that would get them 25. They would only need five more percent to get, accomplish their goal. And that would save roughly 1 million pounds of CO2 a year and would only require 1.7 acres or 4,000 of those 250 watt panels we talked about earlier. And this is just strictly solar savings. There's no conservation measure, measures taken for this, which would lower the number of panels they would need altogether if they could save energy in the first, first three tasks or the first method we looked at. After completing the project, we came up with recommendations for each task. Task one, our recommendations were to gain access of their HVAC control parameters for better indoor temperature control, since they didn't have access to that and to measure airflow and ventilation, because this would be needed in the energy model, which would be completed after in task two, and to get an HVAC company to monitor their equipment for performance. Task two recommendations were to perform an energy model to see saving opportunities. St. Clair or an energy company could do this, and this would give you quantitative results instead of us just saying qualitatively there's energy to be saved. Task three, we said that there's energy to be saved, but that's just based on urgent care, not a manufacturing plant and to, to complete task two to see how much energy is saved and where it could be saved. And then with task four, we recommended to get a solar company to conduct a detailed design plan for the system because there that could save 25% of the 30% needed in 10 years. And lastly, I would just like to give a huge thank you to Sinclair and Johnson Electric for being able to take part in this project and say, helping save the environment. Thank you.